Distributive property. When you break apart a larger expression into two smaller expressions and add the two products together, that is the distributive property. Here's an example of the distributive property. 1 times 6 plus 2 times 6 equals 3 times 6. Let's multiply using the distributive property. Ready? How many groups of 9 do you see? There are 5 groups of 9. Let's count by 5 9 times. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. How many in all? There are 45 in all because 5 times 9 equals 45. How many more 9s are there now? There is one more group of nine. How many are there in all? There are 54 in all because 45 plus nine equals 40, 54. Write two multiplication equations for the whole array. Six times nine equals 54, and nine times six equals 54. Let's look at another array. Write a multiplication equation for each part. The top row has five rows of eight, so we can write five times eight equals 40. The bottom part has one row of eight, so we can wrote, write one times eight equals eight. Now write two multiplications for the whole array. There are 48 in all because 40 plus 8 equals 48. So we can say that 6 times 8 equals 48, and 8 times 6 equals 48. Good work! You can use the distributive property to break apart and multiply. For more math help, go to tinabrigham.com slash math. Please subscribe and we'll see you in the next video.